Open Thailand. 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 รายการดีมีสาระที่นําองค์ความรู้เกี่ยวกับประเพณีวัฒนธรรมสังคมไทยมาแชร์มาแบ่งปันกับแขกรับเชิญพิเศษของเรารายการนี้ต้องขอเจ
much <laughs> much healthier. Yes, <laughs> much more sane. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why do you come to get a job in Thailand? Why? Because it's never minus fourteen or minus twenty five in Thailand. Mm -hmm. At the time I was offered the job, I was sitting in my house that mm -hmm. I was living in, mm -hmm. in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was in New Jersey because the apartment I'd been living in in New York, the pipes had froze and burst for the third year in a row because uh, minus 14, mm -hmm. uh, the pipe's not strong enough to withstand the water when it freezes. And I was sitting there wearing a full outdoor parka mm -hmm. and wearing a scarf and wearing mm -hmm. uh, a wool hat inside the house. Mm -hmm. And I was offered a job in Thailand and I thought, wow, Thailand, the weather's beautiful in Thailand. I think that sounds much better than freezing in New Jersey. ก็สาเหตุหลักเลยที่เขาเมาที่ไทยทํางานที่ไทยก็คือการที่เขาทนอยู่กับความหนาวครับหมายถึงประเทศที่อเมริกานิวเจอร์ซีย์กับนิวยอร์กที่เขาพูดเมื่อกี้คือหนาวแบบว่าลบสิบสี่ After a while it loses its appeal. The snow is pleasant if it's snowing, then at least there's something nice out of it. But if you're just cold for the sake of being cold. In Thailand, people say it's so hot here, but honestly, <laughs> even in Thailand, it's not that hot. Yeah. Texas is much hotter, and I used to live uh, in Texas. Texas, yeah, the weather is somewhat mm -hmm. moderate. It's pleasant, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why you come to get a job in Thailand? For the nice weather and the good food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, you never went to Thailand before? Before you get a job? Oh, I, I think I'd been here eight times previously. Eight times? I think at least eight, at least eight times previously. Why? Many times? Uh, I had a, uh, my best friend uh, in the U.S. was from uh, Karat, yep. so I'd come here in November of 2014 with her family and mm -hmm. uh, visited Thailand with them mm -hmm. for a while, and then I went off on my own to Kanchanaburi to see the uh, festival that they have there every year at the bridge, mm -hmm. and uh, I really enjoyed it, so I came back uh, crisscrossing through Thailand several times. Uh, I spent about four and a half years traveling around the world continuously, basically, continuously. ก็เขามีเพื่อนอยู่ที่โคราชครับก็ได้มาท่องเที่ยวท่องเที่ยวได้มาจังหวัดใช่ครับไปจังหวัดการด้วย I think that's the sad thing that's unfortunately people talk about new normal yeah but the new normal is actually a rather sad thing day to day in Thailand people wear masks yeah they wore masks before yeah social distancing never really was a culture where people would crowd themselves very much but the new normal, sadly, is if I want to go home to visit my mother to have Christmas dinner, yeah. just for one night, I would need a minimum of 27 days to make the journey. Yeah. One day, basically, to fly to the U.S. Yeah. Then I would have to go immediately to find somewhere mm -hmm. to get a medical certificate to say that I'm free of COVID, yeah. and then immediately go to the embassy mm -hmm. 10 days prior to traveling yeah. to obtain permission to return to the mm -hmm. kingdom. Mm -hmm. Then one day to travel back, and yeah. then 14 days in state quarantine. <laughs> so yeah. this means that that uh, tourism, unfortunately, my entire neighborhood yeah. was based on tourism. Yeah. There are actually still hotels that are being constructed. Yeah, they were in the process of doing renovations, mm -hmm. and they're still renovating hotels. That once they're open, they're they're just going to have to close immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen 13 businesses in my neighborhood go out go out of yeah. business in the last two weeks just in the last two weeks mm -hmm. so sadly now tourism is not possible but then business travel as well yeah mm -hmm. is has been rendered completely impossible mm -hmm. you said 27 days right to go back the calculation i made 27 days minimum okay 24 hours to get home yeah. basically yeah transiting through another country because there's no non-stop flights okay then i would have to go directly to get a medical yeah, certificate, yeah. assuming that any doctor is going to want to use a COVID test kit on me just for the yeah. benefit mm -hmm. of travel. Mm -hmm. If that could be arranged, yeah, yeah. get Got a medical it. certificate, and they go directly to the Thai embassy mm -hmm. to obtain permission 10 days prior to the date of travel. Yeah. Minimum. Mm -hmm. So at the very minimum, mm -hmm. to make a trip just to the US to go for one day and mm -hmm. come back again would require 27 days oh. off of work. Yeah. Minimum of 27 days if everything went smoothly. Yeah. And uh, it would be a very high possibility that if I left the kingdom, that even with my work permit, it, it might be rather difficult to get back in. Yeah. So I used to have a supervisor that would tell us, don't come to me with a problem. Come to me with a solution. Yeah. Don't come to me and say, the plane is broken. Yeah. Well, we know that. 
for aircraft technicians. Come with a solution. How do we fix it? The plane is broken, however. Yeah. And then we were going to have a layoff. We were rumors of a layoff. And he got us together and he said, guys, I don't want to hear any more talk. Mm -hmm. I forbid you to talk about layoffs. Mm -hmm. We get laid off, think about this. What happens today, mm -hmm. is it going to make a difference in five years? What happens on this day? Yeah. And most of the time the answer is no. Mm -hmm. You still have eight fingers, two thumbs, your eyes. Mm -hmm. In five years, yeah. it, it won't make a difference. And he was right. Five years later, I was working for General Electric. Yeah. One of the greatest companies in the world because they said at our engine plant, there are no supervisors. Mm -hmm. You're a technician. Yeah. You're a technician. Mm -hmm. You people know your job. Mm -hmm. You want to have a job? Look, you guys run the plant yourself. Yeah. So then we went from six months for an engine overhaul mm -hmm. to 45 days. Yeah. Because they empowered the workers. They told everybody, mm -hmm. don't come to us with problems. Come to us with a solution. Yeah. You see something is damaged, get a new part. Come mm -hmm. up with a repair. Mm -hmm. So, the new normal should be, yeah. where do we want to be in five years? Yes. Where does the world want to be in five years? Mm -hmm. We have 8,100 commercial aircraft mm -hmm. that are stored now, that are parked. Mm -hmm. British Airways is scrapping their 747 fleet. They won't even store the aircraft or try to resell them as cargo aircraft. Qantas is doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Nobody's thinking ahead to say, where do we want to be in five years? Mm -hmm. We want to be flying. We yeah. want to be able to travel freely. Mm -hmm. We want business and trade to resume. Yeah. What if we never find a virus uh, vaccine for COVID? Mm -hmm. They already have identified six different versions of the COVID virus. Yeah. What if things never change? What if that's the new normal? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> นิวนิวนอร์มอลของเขาทําให้เขารู้สึกว่ามันไม่ค่อยสะดวกสักเท่าไหร่กับการที่เขาจะกลับไปที่ประเทศของเขาเพื่อจะไปเพื่อที่จะไปกินข้าวที่เขาบอกว่ามื้อเย็นกับแม่เขาหรือว่าวันคริสต์มาสอะไรสักอย่างใช่มันทําให้เขาคิดว่าที่เขาคาดคะเนมาไว้ว่า27วันเราต้องสูญเสียไปกับการที่เราเดินทางไปใช่ไปกลับแล้วบวกอีก14วันตอนขาเข้าอเมริกากลับมาไทยอีกอีก14วันก็คือเกือบสองเดือนแล้วครับใช่แล้วทีนี้เขาก็สึกไม่ค่อยดีครับก็พูดถึงเรื่องการใส่แมสเรื่องการใส่อะไรทีนี้ก็คิดไม่ออกเขาพูดอะไรบ้างไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรครับโอเค can you tell me about your problem when corona virus come to to Thailand I really can't complain I don't really have a problem yeah so I see in the media there's so much emphasis on it, and so much panic that early on in the epidemic, mm -hmm. I could see that it was going to trigger a worldwide depression mm -hmm. because so many people were scared. Yeah. And in the United States, they allocated $1.2 trillion towards a uh, budget to relieve people of difficulty during the virus yeah. before they even had 1,000 people sick. Mm -hmm. If they had spent that money on medical treatment, mm -hmm then they wouldn't have 4 million cases right now. Mm -hmm. This is one of the great things about Thailand, is if a monk, like your friend, is sick, yeah. then there's hospitals. They'll take care of him. He wouldn't be at his uh, monastery or his yeah. uh, temple mm -hmm. in Las Vegas mm -hmm. suffering yeah. without proper medical attention. Mm -hmm. And in America, so many people are turned away from hospitals, even though they have good medical insurance. Yeah. I had a friend who had military insurance, as a retired Marine Corps technician, mm -hmm. and he had insurance to the airline, but the hospitals refused to take him. He had to stay home for yeah. nine weeks yeah, and yeah. suffer with this. It's difficult. The, the, and then I don't know how his family didn't get sick. Yeah. And this is why now in America, uh, four million people are sick. And when it was still 2.8 million, a friend of mine did some statistics, because he's a mathematician, yeah. and he came up with it being one in 117. Mm -hmm. So less, it's now basically a 1% chance that you'll get COVID in America. Yeah. And a 1 in 2,513 chance of dying of COVID. At the same time here in Thailand, the chance is 1 in 1.2 million yeah. for dying of COVID. Because mm -hmm. here, if people get sick, they take care of the people here. Yeah. It's different style. Different style. Different culture, different style. Mm -hmm. 
ก็ข่าวดีก็คือการที่อเมริกาได้ทุ่มเงินวันทินเรียนไว้ one trillion dollars the the one point two trillion ยาวยาวก็ได้เข้าไปช่วยสําหรับคนที่มีปัญหาเรื่องเศรษฐกิจหรือเรื่องโควิดใช่ก็อย่างที่ที่ท่านพระอาจารย์ได้พูดถึงพระที่ลาสเวกัสใช่ก็เลยบางคนก็ต้องอยู่ที่บ้านรักษาตัวบางคนก็ต้องไปอยู่ที่ใช่เขาไม่รับคิดจะไม่จะไม่หนักอีกก็ไม่ใช่แล้วเขาก็เปรียบเทียบกับกันอยู่ที่ไทยใช่ที่ไทยก็คือถ้าสมมุติว่ามีคนติดโควิดก็คือเราใช่มีใช่เลยครับใช่นี่คือความแตกต่างใช่ you you can see when the coronavirus come to Thailand the first time many people in Thailand they wear the mask you know and me too somebody look at me oh you don't worry you don't wear the mask you cannot protect but the safety first you know I talk many times to people safety first you can see I do this all the time You believe me? And do you remember we were we went outside the hospital one day. We went to yeah. visit one of his friends. Yeah. Somebody asked me in English, "Why are you not wearing a mask?" Mm. <laughs> and my response was, "I'm not Italian," <laughs> because at the time Italy had a, had a big epidemic. Not a well thought answer, mm. truly. But then I asked him, "Why are you not wearing a mask?" Oh, I have to talk to my customers. Yeah. But then after that, I thought, you know, maybe I should just just wear a mask. Mm. And honestly, these things this this doesn't really do anything really. It just makes everybody feel better. Yeah, I've gotten sick twice <laughs> since uh, coronavirus started. I've had respiratory infections twice. Uh, luckily, none of them were very severe. They were yeah. r rather easy to get rid of, but nonetheless, I knew I was I got sick. Mm -hmm. We went to the hospital one time to visit his uh, his abbot who who uh, oh, has, master. A, has master with uh -huh. uh, brain cancer, and we were wearing we were wearing good yeah. hospital grade masks, yeah. and you could smell they had that disinfectant in them, but they don't make a good seal. So I felt a little sick uh, for two weeks after, but it's part of life. I mean, we've, we've survived uh, the Black Plague in Europe, and they've had uh, cholera epidemics here in Asia. Somehow, all of us are here because our ancestors somehow managed to survive. Mm -hmm. And I think perhaps maybe the majority of the people in the world will survive COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, how do we get world, the world economy yeah. back up and moving mm -hmm. again? In the event that there's no vaccine available, we have to come up with some kind of a plan so international travel and international business can resume. ก็ยังเป็นห่วงเรื่องโควิดเนี่ยแหละครับก็ที่เขาถามว่าทําไมที่เขาถามว่าทําไมเขามีคนถามเขาว่าทําไมไม่ใส่แมสใช่เขาก็เลยใส่กันเราใส่ตลอดใช่ครับก็เลยเขาก็ตอนนี้ส่วนมากแล้วเขาก็ถามว่าแมสก็ยังดีต่อตัวเขา You go with a mask, right? Yeah. So I mean, these things they don't really provide very much protection. Yeah, yeah, I know. But like, we go outside and we walk through Bangkok, and Bangkok still smells like Bangkok. Yeah. You know, we're wearing the mask. It helps capture some things. Right. But the problem that they want to want to talk about is about the problem of the economy. We have ended COVID. 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 Protect yourself uh, when virus corona come to Thailand. When you teaching for your student, when you stay at your apartment, how you protect yourself? No, the main thing I have to think about is how to protect my students yeah. because I think uh, my students are probably pretty hardy, pretty tough. They're 18, they're 20. Mm -hmm. um, they're a bit more accustomed, I think, to yeah. a lot of things like coronavirus. Perhaps this is why it isn't so prevalent here. It's probably similar to other infections that people have had here. So I think I'm probably at the highest risk in my school of being somebody to become sick. Mm -hmm. So I have to think of my students that you know, perhaps I might get sick first, mm -hmm. and then I'm the one who gets them sick. Mm -hmm. So I usually wear a mask when I'm when I'm teaching, uh, even if my students are not wearing a mask, mm -hmm. because uh, after all, I did uh, get sick in China yeah. in November. Mm -hmm. I was on a train and somebody was kind enough to cough in my face several times without covering his mouth. This is very customary in Asia. People do not cover their mouths when they cough. Yeah. So it spreads things very easily. So I got uh, I got sick, and I knew I was going to get sick when I was on the train in China. And luckily, I started taking some vitamin supplements that we have. Mm -hmm. Airborne, you might know this supplement mm -hmm. is very good, and a lot of zinc, zinc, vitamin C. These are things that help a lot. Yeah. But I still got sick, 
And then when I went to work, uh, my boss unfortunately missed one day of work that year. And it was the only day of work he missed, and I tried very hard not to spread it. Anytime I would need to blow my nose, I would go into the bathroom, close the door, mm -hmm. blow my nose, throw it in the toilet, flush, yeah. wash with the Dettol soap mm -hmm. for at least 30 seconds, mm -hmm. disinfect everything with alcohol. Yeah. But no matter how hard I tried, my boss says he never gets sick, but I got him sick. ก็อย่างแรกเลยที่เขาเป็นห่วงในการที่เขาจะต้องดูแลตัวเองเกี่ยวกับเขาแล้วมาแล้วก็คือนักเรียนของเขาคือนักเรียนของเขาอายุประม
grandma makes this because her family came from China, but then she had other relatives maybe that came from Korea. So then they'll have a recipe which is completely different from everybody. Even next door, you go next door and they won't cook the things the same way. So there's always new things. ก็เขาก็ชอบมาหาไทยมากเลยครับก็เหมือนว่าไปที่ไหนเขาได้เจอแต่สิ่งใหม่ๆในประเทศของเราไม่ว่าจะหมดไหนใช่ไม่ได้สไตล์ใช่ครับ You like spicy? I do like spicy food, and actually my ulcer is getting a little better now, so I'm gearing it up at having more things that are more spicy. But for a while, I couldn't really eat anything too hot because I would feel it in my stomach. ก็ชอบตอนนี้กำลังพัฒนาอยู่ครับกำลังพัฒนากินเผ็ดขึ้นมาเรื่อยๆแต่ว่าใช่แต่ว่าตอนนี้ท้องเขาก็กำลังมีปัญหาอยู่ก็เลยกินเผ็ดขึ้นไปง่าย I had some food in Peru. I went to Peru, a restaurant in Peru, and I said, I want this, and they said, we have this. And that should have been my warning. And they came out with some food that wasn't hot, and who knows how old it was. And then I, I got an ulcer from uh, infection from the food. I like eating. He said that food is hot. It's good. It won't have the virus. Yeah, good idea. And me too. When I and we sit India, you know India is uh, uh, some food is uh, be careful. Yeah. Some food is mm, uh, like uh, not not Korea. You know, uh, mm. sometimes. Uh, like uh, bacteria, you know. Yes. Uh, because yeah. some some cases uh, like a uh, uh, how to say it's like a uh, uh, not cream, you know. Uh, some some food is not cream. You, you should eat uh, hot food. You know? It's mm -hmm. warm like that. Mm. Because sometimes it's stomach to be careful. So when I order some milk, the hot milk, <laughs> order some <laughs> in India. Yes, yeah. um, okay. Uh, I think uh, I said that uh, I'm not enough at the church. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to talk with uh, Mr. Anthony Garrison and we can get a lot of money to get a lot of money to get a lot of money. But now we're at the break. We're going to get a lot of money. 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 Anthony Garrison from Canada and Mr. ธนพจน์ผู้รักษาในเบรกที่สองกันต่อไปขอเจริญพร